Hello everybody, this is Dragon of a Back for another Q&A. So as you know, about a few months ago now, we, we reached 2,000 subscribers at the start of the year, which was awesome. And I thought to myself, you know, it's been a while since we did a Q&A, so we're going to do a Q&A. Oh, do you like my shirt? I don't know if I'm showing it left. Look, he says hi. <laughs> so I, I've got my uh, beautiful notes here of all your lovely questions, and I have quite a few. I am going to time myself, because I don't want this video to be like 15 years long. So I'm going to give myself a time limit of 20 minutes. And hopefully I will get through all your questions, but I do like to ramble on, so <laughs> we'll have to see. And yeah, I'm just playing Hogwarts Legacy in the background, because, you know, why not? Right, start the timer. 20 minutes. Right, and well, I'll read some questions out while the game loads. Takes its time. Right, favourite DK character. Oh, that's a tough one, man. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Um, I go with Dr. Taylor. I know a lot of people don't like Dr. Taylor. I don't know why. He's freaking awesome. I felt so bad for him at the end of season one. He's like, oh, I wanted to summon a dinosaur. I, so, I felt so bad for him. But the freaking paleontologist of all people should get to summon a dinosaur. Like, I, I, I just love him, okay? So, yeah. Uh, favorite DK character, Dr. Dr. Taylor. Okay, I'll do least favourite as well. Um, that freaking little asshole in the buddy We Musketeer. That that one, that one. That, what's, I forgot his name. D'Artagnan, that's the one. Least favourite character. I absolutely hate that character. Like, if he, if he, he lost his orphanage and he blames Max because, you know, Chomp eaten the Rajasaurus, punted him into the bloody building and then freaking Rajasaurus you know, seem to ignore the fact that she did most of the damage. And then he was like, oh, duh, 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 duh. and oh my god, the car episode, that really, really, really pissed me off. Like, oh my god, oh my god, I just wanted to rip this kid's head off. <laughs> I, 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 just, I remember the episode and they broke down and they literally told him to stop because they had to fix the carriage, right? And they, they didn't fix, he didn't listen. He said, like, oh, we can't stop yet. So he fixed it. And, oh my god. And he's like, this wouldn't have happened if you'd done your job. But he did do his job. And freaking, I don't know fight he had between him and Max. So he's like, and Max. I was like, get him, Max. Yeah. Beat him up. <laughs> I mean, I am not really a fan of Max. So that tells you all you need to know about my least favourite character in the franchise. Bonus question. Right. Liked DK Dinos. Other than Megaraptor, of course. Ooh. Okay, I'll go for, like, eat one of each element, just to be fair. So, fire would be... I'd probably go with Kark. You know, the jolly green giant. That eats your face. Water. Oh, water's a tough one. Um, For, you know, sentimental reasons and for, like, childhood reasons, I would probably go with Amargosaurus. Because that was definitely a staple I used a lot back in the day. Lightning type. Uh, da, da, da. Anchiceratops, I would say. He <laughs> yes. or, or as we like to call him on the Discord server, the grumpy bastard. I, I like Anchiceratops. Okay, for Earth. I would go with Cychania, maybe. As for grass, uh, oh, grass is a tough one because it's quite a few. I'd probably go with shant and wind. Well, do wind, even though you know Mega Raptor's wind. Another wind dinosaur I like. I like. I quite like Utahraptor. Um. Yeah, 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 I think I might go, I think I go with Utahraptor, maybe. And for secret, then, well, Megalosaurus, hands down. That was, that was the easiest one. Love Megalosaurus, freaking awesome. Right, um, next question three. Least favourite DK Dino. Okay, um, in terms of, okay, in terms of the anime and what the Dino actually did, I would probably go with... Well, I kind of hate to say it because, you know, I, 
I go with Mega Raptor Season 1 because it did nothing. It it off, literally offered nothing to the plot. It didn't do anything. You even had Zoe make a comment on saying how really dangerous it is. What was it? Bloody Dragon. It didn't do anything. As for any, as for another dinosaur I'm not a fan of. Uh, I feel like Mapusaurus. But like in terms of what it did in the it didn't really do any. It, you know, it destroyed a meal. You know, Chomp and Ace, they got all pissy and that. You know, it didn't really do it do it for me. In season two, it just it was just a big freaking whoopee cushion. I mean the heat eruption scene was cool, but yeah, not Okay, we'll do this one. It didn't really do it for me. In terms of design, then, I'd say Giganonosaurus. I mean, that thing has a horrendous design. It's basically Barney the Dinosaur. A lot of people don't like Achilosaurus either. I'm not sure why. I don't think the design is that bad. I will say, though, it does kind of remind me of a more paleo-accurate Pachyrhinosaurus. And that's probably one that would be up there as well. I think the... Uh, nose bit is like absurd i don't think i've ever seen a reconstruction of a pachyrhinosaurus look like that okay next question okay favorite kaiju okay so yeah i do i do like monster movies i i like the uh weird monster movies as well like the ripoffs so you have godzilla versus kong and then i think i saw one called ape versus monster which is a direct ripoff Although I think in that one the ape actually wins. If I'm, I have, don't, I haven't seen the movie in full, but I'm pretty sure that the ape actually wins. So at least they changed the battle outcome. Don't believe that. Oh, favorite kaiju. Well, um. What needs doing needs doing. I would honestly go with Shimo. And I know she's like the most recent kaiju yes, added. Everything I just right. love her puppy if the dog design. To talk to me about, about I, I I don't I just freaking love I Shimo. What I have to do. I I, I have a I, a I am a sucker for like white floor. albino skins be and Shimo being it. white. What you know, you it just wins it troll. for me. I thought that's why you were here. Although I will say Scar King was I'm a very sorry. good villain. <sighs> I I would probably I say he is the best villain we've had so far in the monster list. It's just a shame. I'm Alexandra. That he didn't, I didn't do mean more. to be short with you. I mean, with Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere. I mean, Ghidorah's I motive was just to security. terraform the planet, you know, it's kind of but a mid-tier motive, but you know, Scar King's motive. He, he wanted to conquer the surface. Yesterday. He wanted to rule the surface. You know, he had he history with Godzilla but wants him gone. because he defeated him in the past. Mad, my training a troll. And he obviously, Impossible even. yeah, he just had better motives. And he was just a grumpy old bastard. <laughs> he just killed everyone he saw. It's like he just hated the guy as soon as he came on the screen. I'm inclined to agree with them. Trolls are dangerous creatures. I know. Oh, I know. but yeah, Shimo was freaking awesome. And I, I do hope we get to see more of her and they don't just chop her off in the next movie. Because in my opinion, and I know I'm going to upset quite a lot of people saying this, but I do feel she is the top dog. In my honest opinion, I don't think we've seen a, a fraction of what she can do. And I feel like, like Godzilla, she has the capability to change and, you know, maybe she could go have her own iteration of... Uh, thermonuclear so you know maybe maybe oh, she can be I mean to suggest that you should do it maybe there's more to her than meets the eye i will say i didn't i didn't like the end scene where kong is petting her with the hand i didn't like that <laughs> and if i was me i'd be like take your filthy paw off me you damn dirty ape. Troll on the loose near a hamlet that could be devastating. <laughs> Honestly, I give the movie like 100% on Rotten Tomatoes if Shimo said that to Kong and Kong was like, No! Take your stinking bar off me, you damn 38! Right, next question. I know, I'm hardly doing any gameplay. I'm just focusing on questions. Uh, what got me into DK? And if it returned, how, how would you make it and why? That's a good question. 
Um, well, I, I remember the exact holiday I went to when I first started playing Dinosaur King. We went to West Wales. And it was about... I think I was in year six. I was either in year six or year seven. Which is basically like 10, 11. And... I just saw this machine and... You know, this was a time where... I kind of didn't like dinosaurs. Because of, well... Mainly Jurassic Park. I take it you're Alexandra's friend. And, you know, I obviously got scared of them. And I think... That was a time where I actually wised up and watched Jurassic Park for the first time. Okay, don't worry, we're gonna play some dinosaurs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And I, I really enjoyed the game when I first got and I got the cards. You know, uh, this was a time when I also uh, was playing Yu-Gi-Oh as well. Oh, you know what? Oh, there's my death spell. Just that. <laughs> One less. I feel awful for Alexandra. Um, but yeah. But the Hamlet needed Back to, to what be I was saying. Awesome. Yeah, it was. It was really fun. It, the game just got to me. And I, you know, haven't looked back since. If I was to bring it back, oh. Well, first off, I'd have like a new wave of dinosaurs. I think that's something that the game needs. More more recent discoveries as well, like stuff like Nasutoceratops. You know, maybe the Tyrannotitan. I could probably make a list of like top 10 dinosaurs I'd like to see added to Dinosaur King if it got rebooted. Ooh, how would I bring it back? I honestly don't know because who do you make like, if you uh, did season 3 you would obviously have Gomer as like the main villain and I know there's a lot of like stints of uh Season My three, throat. Dinosaur King. What? I don't know what you would do, to be honest. Thank it's you. a tough one. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. Any okay. You had to train that thing. If you could give you any dinosaur the super type, what would it be? Goodness. Okay, this one's an easy one. I would go with Stratosaurus because I just feel bad for it because it got, it got neglected. It's like the most neglected gold in the game. I mean that. You know, for some reason, Sega opted for the Super Triceratops instead. And, you know, it is unfortunate that that was the case. But, yes, yeah, a Super Strikosaurus would have made sense because they obviously they did it for all the other first wave golds. You have Rex, Spino, Psyche, Para, and Kano, but no Strikosaurus. If they did do a Super Stratosaurus, would they have done a Dino Tector version of it as well? Which I think would look really spicy, especially because it's all spiky at the frill. But, you know, never mind. I still think Stratosaurus is awesome, by the way. Uh, well, I'm not even going to answer the next one because I put a poll on there a few days ago. Are you doing more mini tournaments? Yes, I am. Okay, if you could bring any extinct species back, what would you bring back, where and why? Ooh, da da. Well, I wouldn't bring back a dinosaur for a start. <laughs> I'd probably bring something small, miniature. How about a... I'm a, just Beelzebufo. Why not? The Devil Toad. Uh, then again, that thing would be big enough to eat your dog, so... Maybe not. <laughs> 50 cats go missing. And it's Beelzebufo's fault. Uh, what would I bring back? Okay, I think of something else. Hmm.
Okay, I would probably bring back a species that would be able to wipe out, like, that would be able to control invasive species in different regions of the world. That's probably what I would want to do. Of course, then you're like eliminating one threat with a bigger threat, so maybe it's like putting a fire out of kerosene, I suppose. Right, next question. Why do you love Mega Raptor? Because I do, okay? <laughs> right, next question. Do you like any other wind types? Yes, I do. There are quite a few wind types I like, to be honest. Now, I think Carnotaurus has a decent design. I mean, I've mentioned Utahraptor earlier. Uh, <laughs> I like Ceratosaurus and the fact that it's just tiny little rat. Even though Ceratosaurus was not that small. I mean, maybe there were some small versions of Cerato, but... To the point where it's like one of the smallest wind types in this game is absurd. Uh, I got an, I got an attachment for Sejuangosaurus, even though that one's a very dubious genus. Mainly, again, that's mainly because of videos and such. Rebellion. <laughs> because I just, you know, it's a pur it's a purple predator, isn't it? You know, it's the underdog. It's get it gets written off by everybody, but uh, it's yet yeah, it wins. Okay, next up we have got... Will you do a Dinosaur Kingdom Let's Play? Okay, so for those of you that don't know, Dinosaur Kingdom is a new app game in development. It's made by LP Gauzy. Oh yeah, that, I'll definitely be doing play, gameplay of that. I mean, I, I got a new phone recently, like about a year ago, so running it shouldn't be an issue for me. So yeah, definitely look for gameplay when that thing, whenever that game decides to come out. Right, and do I play Dinosaur Revolution? Uh, no. I don't even know what that is. Okay, up next. What are you looking forward to the most for Primal Carnage 3.0? Oh, that's a tough one, because I mean, 3.0 is like a monster update. It's gonna be like probably the biggest update they've ever done um in terms of game balance i think the only thing which i find absolutely abhorrent is the uh dart pistol the fact that it's not the fact that it boosts the human's health it's the fact that it gives them like stupidly high defense I don't know, whoever came up with that idea should just be shot into the sun. Like, that's just terrible. Let's have some fun. Um, okay. Next question. What is your favourite dinosaur to play in Primal Carnage? Um, okay, well, Carnotaurus has been my go-to for quite Pretty much since the start of the game. Obviously it gets nerf buffed, so I play it more or less depending on what happens with it. Uh, these days I'm very more just partial to playing everything. You know, I just want to give it... I, okay, I'll say Flyer. Pteranodon. Though not Tupa because that thing is just horrendously bad to play. <laughs> like, the thing with Tupa and Dactylus is it Unless you use exploits, and I don't mean hacks, like, you know, trick. Unless you do all that, you're not going to do well with it. Like, that to me says the class is broken. In no way should you have to use an exploit or a cheap trick that you shouldn't be able to do to win with that class. You shouldn't. It's just wrong. Okay, what one change okay, what one change would you make to Primal Carnage if you had the choice? Well, I think I mentioned the the Trank the Dart Pistol of nerfing that bloody thing. Um I I would love to see the Pathfinder get a buff. Like not the double barrel, because I think that's fine, but I think the normal shotgun and the spaz, I do feel need a buff. The damage is just so random. It's to the point of the damage is literally picked from a random number generator. It's absurd. 
At least the double barrel has some cons level of consistency, but the, the, the shotgun is just no consistency whatsoever. I'm, I, it can't just be me, surely. I could fall dead asleep on my feet, I could. It has to, you know, it can't just be me, it has to be mortal. Hello? You've been playing? Yeah, I'm on the oh, shoot. Oh, uh, we're time. Time's up, guys. Um, right. Uh, don't worry. We got time for a couple more. <laughs> Phone just went off there. No I don't know why I'm laughing. Right? I'm sorry about that, but you know, it doesn't matter. Cause I'm, on, I'm only playing this game in the background. While I'm so the magic that makes troublemakers like you vanish. Hey, come down here and fight me, a chicken. Okay, next question. What is your favourite game to play in the last few years? Well, I'm, play <laughs> I'm playing it now. Hogwarts Legacy. Oh my god, is that a dragon up there? Oh no, the Festivals. Um, yeah, Hogwarts Legacy. Hands down, I mean... This is the first new game that I've played in like 10 years and it's bloody awesome. I love this game. And I am so stoked Let's to hear that there's possibly time, a Alan. sequel to this game because it deserves one. It's, the developers really knocked it out of the park with this game. I absolutely love it. Okay, next question. What was your favourite Walking Dead spin-off? So yeah, for those of you who don't know, I do love The Walking Dead. Uh, I absolutely love the show. Oh, look, look. It's my nope. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, well, I'll go through them each individually. Okay, I'd say table. maybe Dead City would be my the least favourite. The I mean, I will be on with my least... Actually, now that I think about it, will be on with probably my least favourite. I just didn't really... I didn't really get the characters, to be honest. I mean, it was nice to see Jadis return, and that was probably the only good thing I liked about it, to be honest. So yeah, we'll be on, probably, at first. Um, Fear was pretty good. Although Madison's return was a bit like, wow, where the hell did this come from? Like, who do you think you are, though? Like, you, you really think you're Rick Grimes, love, because you're not. Uh, we also have Tales. I actually quite like Tales of Walking Dead. You know, some good, some cool stories. Hope we get to see more of that in the future. The Alpha episode, that was really good. I think they, they I did a very they did a very good job of uh, fleshing out the character of Alpha in the TV show, as opposed to the comic books, because I don't even think she got a backstory in that. Well, we didn't even Lucky get a, a real name, which I can't remember because I haven't watched Tales for ages. Oh yeah, triple kill. <laughs> so yeah, I enjoyed Tales. Uh, okay, now for the free spin-offs. Oh, buh, buh, buh. yeah, I think Dead City. You know, I like the dynamic between Maggie and Negan. I like the Croat. He's, he's a pretty cool dude. Definite psychopath. He kind of reminds he kind of reminds you of a mix of Negan and the Governor. You know, he, he wants to show like he he kind of has the charm. You know, he tries to do the, the charm like Negan, but he's like completely psychotic like the Governor was. And yeah, I honestly can't wait for season two. Uh, okay, this one's really tough because. Okay, no, it's, it's quite unanimous, actually. Dead, um, the Daryl Dixon one next. and Oh, yeah, season two coming out in, like, a week or so. <laughs> yeah, I, I enjoyed that one. You know, it's interesting because you'd think that someone like Daryl, who doesn't talk much and is like, <laughs> doesn't talk much at all, would not work as a main character, but he kind of does. I know people argue that, you know, he was the main character in the main show when Rick left. I mean, I disagree. I don't think that was the case. I think 
we had multiple main characters. It's not like they gave all the Rick stuff to Daryl. But yeah, I enjoyed the Daryl Dixon spin-off. The subtitle, you know, is French at the end of the day, so you know, you, you can forgive that. I will say, the ending was a bit... I don't know. I was hoping for more. The Varian Walkers were freaking insane, and I hope we get to see more of that. And I suspect we will, but that... They're not, they are mental, I think. The one scene where he was on the boat, and he, like... Him and the guy, and the walker, like, freaking lion pounced on the guy and he's just ripping him like this he's, like, <laughs> he's just ripping him like that, it's insane I freaking love that scene and yes, uh, the new characters were pretty good as well and then obviously my favourite spin-off wow, Ones Who Live I mean, that, that was just awesome every episode was just insane and but it had freaking Rick in it. And, I, you know, it's, it was the perfect series for me in terms of closing out the t their Rick and show. And for me, I think they should just leave it as it is. You don't need to do anything with those two anymore. You know, maybe have them make, like, cameos in, like, the other spin-offs if you need them to. You know, we want a Rick Darrell reunion, definitely. We want that. But, yeah, other than that, I think that is it for those two. They definitely got the send-off they deserved. And the CRM was awesome as well. Definitely a very different group of... Uh, I wouldn't even call them all villains. It was just like the military aspect of it. And yeah. It was like a villain within a... It was like a greater evil inside a lesser evil. If that makes sense. Right, I, that is going to be it for the Q&A, since I definitely passed the 20 minute mark. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, hope you found it interesting, until next time. Hang on, I want to sign off in style. Oh, I'm going to burn there. We're close to a breakthrough. I can you pay for destroying our drill? Dude, I'm not away with that. Until next time, our time. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. Indeed it is.